You just got your dbrand iPhone 6 or 6s skin. Relax. This is going to be easy. First, wipe your device free of dust and fingerprints. For optimal results, ensure you are under bright lighting. Note that your dbrand skin comes with four elements. Front, upper lower, middle, and a full back piece. A microfiber cloth is also included to help smooth down the edges. Don't worry if your exact device isn't shown. The procedure is identical for the 6, 6S, 6 Plus, and 6S Plus. You will require a hair dryer for this installation, so pause the video now and go grab one. Welcome back. Before we get started, take note that the only way to get a perfect installation like the one seen here is by taking your time and following these instructions exactly. There are three different skin styles included with your order. Split full coverage, split antenna coverage, and single piece full coverage. Click on the option you like best to skip ahead to the appropriate section. You selected either split antenna or split full coverage. Let's get started. Begin by removing the middle back skin from the 3M paper and reattaching as shown. Align precisely along the divide between the metal and the antenna band, ensuring the Apple logo is centered perfectly. If you see even a slight portion of the metal showing through the Apple cutout, the skin is not aligned properly. To continue, simply remove and try again. Once lined up, apply pressure to the exposed portion, remove the 3M paper, and smooth out the lower half. Next, grab your hair dryer and heat up the left side of the skin. Apply pressure from the center outwards, as well as in between the sim and power. Then finally, above the power cutout. For the thin pieces surrounding the sim and power cutouts, gently tap them into place. Now, heat up the right side of the skin. Apply pressure from the center outwards. Carefully wrap the area surrounding the toggle slider. For the thin piece surrounding the volume cutout, gently tap it into place. Finally, use your fingernail to file down the edges of the skin. A downward motion works best as shown. Alternatively, you can use your microfiber cloth to rub the edges of the skin, as shown. Repeat this motion 10 to 15 times. The friction will smooth down the sharp edges. From here, you can either apply the upper and lower antenna pieces, or the upper and lower full coverage pieces. To apply the upper and lower antenna pieces, simply visit Outer Space. <laughs> what? The upper and lower full coverage pieces are a bit more complicated. Let's get started. Note that there are two sets of each of the upper and lower pieces included with your order just in case you don't get it right on your first try. Begin by aligning the upper piece around the camera and continuing along the top edge of the middle piece. Once aligned properly, grab your hair dryer, heat the top flap, then wrap it around the device. Next, place your thumb behind either of the exposed flaps and heat the corner with your hair dryer. Apply pressure to just the corner portion of the skin leaving the exposed flap untouched. Next, place your thumb behind the outer flap and heat it for five to 10 seconds. Wrap it around the side of the device, making sure to line it up along the edge of the middle back skin. You're now going to be applying the flap. The key to getting a seamless installation is applying the flap so that the corner, highlighted here, meets the inner edge of the flap highlighted here. Grab your hair dryer and heat the exposed flap until it becomes soft. Wrap a small portion of the skin around the corner with your thumb, ensuring to line up the inner edge of the flap with the corner. Continue until the flap has been fully wrapped around the corner. Any remaining bumps or ripples can be smoothed out by heating the corner of your device and rubbing it with your microfiber cloth. If the flap isn't aligned properly, just wait a few seconds for the material to cool down. Then, 
peel it up about halfway and try again. If you see a gap, it means you need to apply more pressure when applying the flap. If you see an overlap, it means you need to apply less pressure. Repeat this process for the other side. Chances are you won't remember all those instructions. So click here or return to 339. See you back here in a bit. Next, let's apply the lower piece. Use the speaker holes and microphone as alignment references. Once lined up perfectly, apply pressure to the bottom of the skin. It may not stick perfectly, but that's okay. Carefully wrap the skin around the bottom edge of the device, leaving the back portion untouched. Next, tuck the unstuck edge of the skin so that it meets the bottom edge of the middle piece. Once tucked in properly, smooth out the divide between the middle and lower piece. Your lower piece should now look something like this, with a small bump on the unstuck portion. Finally, apply pressure to the bump as shown, bit by bit. Next, grab your hair dryer, heat up the bottom of the skin, then carefully apply pressure as shown. To apply the corners and flaps, we're going to use the same technique as the upper piece. Place your thumb behind either of the exposed flaps and heat the corner with your hair dryer. Apply pressure to just the corner portion of the skin, leaving the exposed flap untouched. Next. Place your thumb behind the outer flap and heat it for 5 to 10 seconds. Wrap it around the side of the device, making sure to line it up along the edge of the middle back skin. You're now going to be applying the flap. The key to getting a seamless installation is applying the flap so that the corner, highlighted here, meets the inner edge of the flap, highlighted here. Grab your hair dryer and heat the exposed flap until it becomes soft. Wrap a small portion of the skin around the corner with your thumb, ensuring to line up the inner edge of the flap with the corner. Continue until the flap has been fully wrapped around the corner. Any remaining bumps or ripples can be smoothed out by heating the corner of your device and rubbing it with your microfiber cloth. If the flap isn't aligned properly, just wait a few seconds for the material to cool down, then peel it up about halfway and try again. If you see a gap, it means you need to apply more pressure when applying the flap. If you see an overlap, it means you need to apply less pressure. Repeat this process for the other side. Chances are you won't remember all those instructions, so click here or return to 623. See you back here in a bit. If you didn't purchase a front piece, you're done. If you did, either click here or jump to 1159 to view the instructions. You selected the single piece full coverage skin. Let's get started. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin around the speaker holes and microphone. Once lined up perfectly, apply pressure to the bottom of the skin. It may not stick perfectly, but that's okay. Carefully wrap the skin around the lower portion of the back of the device, applying pressure from one side to the other, bit by bit. Next, remove the 3M paper and attach it to the skin, as shown. Align the skin around the camera cutout. Once lined up perfectly, apply pressure to the exposed portion as well as around the camera using your fingernail. You may remove the 3M paper entirely and smooth out the back surface to remove any bumps. Heat the top flap and wrap it around the device. Then heat up the bottom of the skin and carefully apply pressure as shown. Heat up the left side of the skin. Apply pressure from the center outwards, as well as in between the sim and power. Then finally, above the power cutout. For the thin pieces surrounding the sim and power cutouts, gently tap them into place. Now, heat up the right side of the skin. Apply pressure from the center outwards. 
Carefully wrap the area surrounding the toggle slider with your thumb, as shown. For the thin piece surrounding the volume cutout, gently tap it into place. Next, heat any of the four corners. Ignore the outer flap for now. Apply pressure to just the corner portion of the skin, leaving the exposed flap untouched. You're now going to be applying the flap. The key to getting a seamless installation is applying the flap so that the corner, highlighted here, meets the inner edge of the flap, highlighted here. Grab your hair dryer and heat the exposed flap until it becomes soft. Wrap a small portion of the skin around the corner with your thumb, ensuring to line up the inner edge of the flap with the corner. Continue until the flap has been fully wrapped around the corner. Any remaining bumps or ripples can be smoothed out by heating the corner of your device and rubbing it with your microfiber cloth. If the flap isn't aligned properly, just wait a few seconds for the material to cool down. Then peel it up about halfway and try again. If you see a gap, it means you need to apply more pressure when applying the flap. If you see an overlap, it means you need to apply less pressure. Repeat this process for the other three corners. Chances are you won't remember all those instructions. So click here or return to 1008. See you back here in a bit. Finally, use your fingernail to file down the edges of the skin. A downward motion works best as shown. Alternatively, you can use your microfiber cloth to rub the edges of the skin as shown. Repeat this motion 10 to 15 times. The friction will smooth down the sharp edges. Finally, let's install the front skin. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Note that the corner of the skin is already folded. This is normal. Align the skin around the fingerprint sensor. Once lined up perfectly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. Next, turn the phone upside down, remove the 3M paper, and reattach as shown. Align the cutout around the top earpiece, camera, and sensors. You may need to make slight horizontal adjustments to get a perfect fit. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. You may now remove the 3M paper entirely. Smooth out the full surface, including the screen cutout. Next, grab your hair dryer. Slowly heat one of the four edges on the skin. Then apply firm pressure to ensure that it stays stuck to the curved edges. Once it looks good, repeat the process for the remaining three sides. You may now remove the screen cutout entirely by pulling it up from the folded corner. Once the screen cutout has been removed, heat the thin side bezels and apply another round of pressure to ensure they never peel up over time. Done. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us.